I made this list. Uh, I made this list Thursday before the 10v10. This right here. Yeah, this is right here. So, all right. So yeah, I made this list for the 10v10. Uh, 10v, the 10v10 NA versus EU was really dope. Uh, combo combo breaker in general was really dope, right? So my thing is, I don't know a few of these uh i don't know a few of these uh europeans like i haven't really seen them play so i had to look them up um i hadn't seen tetsu play i hadn't seen fujito play and joker and kira kira i didn't know too much about these people um but right before it started so i looked up some matches looked up some matches you know did some judgment on some gameplay and they're actually pretty sick um, all the EU players here are pretty sick. Obviously, the ones that stand out are Sefi Black at the top for me, um, K Wet, K Wiss, uh, Super Akuma. He's known as the well. He's performed the best. I don't know if he is the best, but he's performed the best thus far out of any other European. Uh, Go Sane. I know it's a really sick law player, and and uh, Fergus has traveled over there before, but I don't. I've never, I've never been a believer in Fergus. I don't believe in Oscar, um, at all. Uh, <laughs> I don't believe in Oscar at all. But my review is that uh, the tournament was sick on the second one, on the second stage, right? Yo, good morning, Strife Stream. Yo, what's up, Wild Child? Good morning. Um, so I made this list Thursday. And uh, Combo Breaker as a whole, I've heard nothing but great things about. You guys saw my memorial, my memorial, not memorial, how would I put it? My get your ass to Combo Breaker vids or whatever that a bunch of people sent me. Thank you, Oni, and everyone that sent them to me. Uh, that was dope. Uh, shout out to Rob TV for Street Fighter V. Um, I don't pay attention to Street Fighter often, I'll be honest. But whenever uh, my guy Rob is involved in something, uh, we we part of the wave, part of the wave gang, bruh. We wave cap, we wave cap, uh, do rag brothers. That's what it is. We do rag brothers, bruh. Always got wave caps on. <laughs> so, ah, so West Coast called uh, the West Coast called out the Midwest and Street Fighter Five, and he bodied them, but he bodied them. So like. He bought it himself. Shout out to Rob TV for doing this motherfucking thing in Street Fighter V, as usual, as I expected. So, you know, I watched that. That shit was pretty lit. So, good shit. Don't want to hear West Coast talk no type of shit about Street Fighter no more. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, as someone that doesn't talk, that doesn't play Street Fighter, uh, yeah, I'm going to hear the West Coast talk. No more shit about Street Fighter. Not even to me, because I'm in the Midwest, bro. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> Can't fuck with my, my, uh, what was I? I was a platinum jury, bro. Can't fuck with my platinum jury, bro. Get your ass out of here, bro. That shit's probably fucking ultra silver now. <laughs> but, um, on to Tekken. The, the whole Tekken tournament was really dope. Um, I thought that Super Kuma would place the best. Sefi Black plays the best at fourth, which is not a bad showing at all. Obviously, the top eight can't have a gang of EU people, so. I knew that it would only be one one tops, and I thought it was gonna be Super Kuma, or maybe maybe Sefi Black, or maybe Gosain, and it was Sefi Black. So um, good shit to Sefi Black. He played his ass off. He gave me a lot of Miguel shit to look at. I am excited because Miguel is my secondary, so I watch Sefi Black. He doesn't know, but I watch him. So he has too many people in the chat for like me to follow and me to ask questions. So sadly enough. Um, like I just watch, I watch VODs, <laughs> like sadly enough I watch VODs or you know I'll just hop in for a little while and just watch whenever I watch Sefi. So on to this 10v10, this 10v10 was hype as fuck in my opinion the hypest thing at the tournament. 
because um, <laughs> I'm biased, Tekken baby. So uh, the 10v10 was Landon, Gosain, Victim, Tetsu, Shadow, Kara, Cuddle, Fujito, Anakin, Kwish, Junior, Chikamaru, Joey, Super Kuma, Joe Crush, Sefi Black, Kaiser, Fergus, Justin, and Joker. So I made predictions up here. Um, we're just gonna go down, right? And then I made some notes, right? See note right here. Um, maybe I need to move my head. I'll just read it. You guys will be fine. Uh, now, what we got now? Now the note is no one can be Anakin except for Super Akuma and maybe Gosain, and I should have put Sefi Black. Should have Sefi Black as well. Here, um, I thought that only these three. Uh, this is a small edit, but I I believe the best three players are Super Akuma, Gosain, and Sefi Black. So, um, I think those are the only three that could be Se be what's the name, and and that was it. Um, no shots to K Wiz, but it's because of who K Wiz plays. Um, the experience is too massive with Anakin and Horong, so it's extremely difficult to beat. Anakin with Hall. Um, I'm not saying it can't be done, but it is probably one of the hardest, like probably top five characters to be able to beat Anakin with, uh, just because speed and the history there, all right? So, uh, then Super Kuma, I didn't believe that anyone could really beat Super Kuma confidently. I don't think we have uh, a Kuma here. We do have the homie Shin Pusheen and we got, uh, I believe, Shin Paolo. Uh, we do have some Akumas, but I feel like the experience for Akuma is really low in NA. So even our top players, I don't really believe that they have the XP necessary. Anakin has traveled abroad and, you know, gone to Pakistan and, and Korea and shit. So I feel like he has the most, like, just he is the best here. I feel like he has the most Akuma XP. So for me, the only person that could be Super Kuma confidently, I would say would be Anakin. So I was worried if Super Kuma, I thought Super Kuma was gonna beat Joey. And I thought if he had to play anyone else that was not Anakin, I would be like, uh, I think Super Kuma's gonna win this. So I know. So there's that. K Wiz beating Anakin would have destroyed the morale and probably won the entire 10v10. Cause honestly, um, Anakin, because of this right here, the Super Kuma thing, um, and Super Kuma had to fight Joey first, I knew the Super Kuma was going to win this. Um, uh, sorry to doubt Joey like that, but Kuma's too good, bro. Like, just, I don't know what you could have did, I don't know what he could have did differently, or how he could have won, but I didn't, I didn't believe in it. I didn't, I didn't believe in it. Um, so... Yeah, if K-Wiz beat Anakin, the 10 v 10, the morale for us would have been shot. And considering how much work uh, Anakin had to put in, yeah, I'm pretty sure they would have won the 10 v 10 if K-Wiz beat Anakin. Uh, let's see. Junior will win the first game. It's a feeling. Also, who is he playing? I know Junior to play multiple people. I ran into him online several times. He's super duper solid. Uh, he's the reason I have Eliza experience. Um, I know he plays Cat and I know he plays DJ. I didn't know who he was gonna play. So he played Cat and he played a really solid Cat, which I appreciate that because Cat is my favorite female in the game uh, to play and to look at. Wink. So I, I just felt like he was gonna win the first game. Uh, I didn't, I didn't, who's he playing? He's playing Chicken Maru. Oh, oh yeah. I know a little about, a bit about Chicken Maru, but I thought that was up for grabs. So, let's see. Then, we got Kaiser. Uh, I think that Fergus has been the weakest. One of the weakest um, traveling players. Or maybe it's just my perception on Asuka. Maybe it's that. Maybe it has nothing to do with Fergus. Because I think the Dimebag is the weakest Korean that travels. And he plays Asuka. So like my homie, I saw my homie almost beat him. And my homie my homie Oni almost beat him. And you know, homie Oni is like third. Uh, like he, you know, he he's I'd say he's he's number three in our state. So like 
as I see him almost be dying back and I know you can't say just because someone that you feel you know that you might be better than almost beat somebody that you would just beat that guy you can't really say that because that's not really how it works but that's how it feels so you know but yeah I just felt the Kaiser would win I don't I don't know how strong Kaiser really is I've never played Kaiser but I I, I was like Fergus I feel like was the weakest draw so I was like well I'm pretty sure Kaiser can probably get that done so Kaiser will win uh, let's see, Justin is the most underrated and should win due to the underestimation. So, I feel like Justin had the least, least amount of data out there. And he is really sick at the game. I have not played him, but I know he's extremely sick at the game. So, I was expecting him, I expected him to win um, against whoever he played. Unless it was a, top, a higher level player, right? So, there's that victim, is the second most underrated. And will win first, if not more matches because of Nina XP, right? So the issue, the issue here is that Nina is a rare character. I'm pretty sure EU has a, you know, a legendary Nina or possibly a Nina player, but I've never seen an EU player fight against a Nina. So for me, whenever I see something like that, just like how I said with NA and Akuma, um, I know they have the XP and Victim is extremely solid. I played him. He's, he's really, really solid. He can play small, he can play wild, he can play fast, he can play slow. He can, you know, he can play Tekken, like, you know? Like, he goes with optimal combos, which sometimes is a detriment, but he's dope, I know. Like, he, he's dope as fuck, so I know that for a fact. Cuddle, Cuddle is doubted for some dumb reasons. Uh, she'll win, proven time and time again. I don't know why people doubt Cuddle for. I have no fucking clue. I don't know what it is about people that really doubt her. Um, maybe it's because like she she doesn't she doesn't win often as in like top like first place. Maybe it's because of that, but like she's still a top player. And if you put her against what 95% of people that play Tekken, she's gonna win. There's a five percent of people that can beat her. That's crazy. Like that you would doubt, that you would doubt, right? It's crazy that you would doubt. So I I knew that she would win her first, if not more matches, cause it's cuddle, bro. Like people be doubting her, they be sleep, bro. I don't know what it is. They be sleep on her, bro. Like she's she's awesome. And not to mention not to mention she uh but she's solid as fuck, bro. Like like at most stages of the match. Sometimes she plays uh sometimes she plays I don't want to say predictable. Sometimes she plays a little too uh, a little too button heavy, but like it, it's still very safe. Still, it's still very safe. She doesn't really take a, a, a huge amount of risk. So, and her character Alyssa is really was really solid as well with her style. Joe Crush is solid, but Sefi should win for sure. Yeah, uh, I like Joe Crush. I didn't think I I don't think he's beating Sebby Black though. Sebby Black is one of the most solid EU players, so I definitely didn't see Joe Crush winning. Let's see. Then Go Sane is solid, but loses the Anakin victim or Shadow, but only those three. Um, I thought that yeah, I thought that Go Sane was only going to lose to these three. It was more of a style thing. I think his style would be able to possibly take out uh, Cuddle, but not Anakin, not Victim, and not Shadow. He likes to play slow, a lot of neutral, yeah, formulaic, yeah, you're right. Sometimes she, uh, sometimes she gets a little for formulaic, but it's not a, uh, uh, it works well with Alyssa, so. But yeah, Gosain, he plays like a real small, neutral heavy, like Tekken law. And I feel like the people that we have that would be able to beat that is Victim because the Nina XP and he can do that. Uh, Anakin because he's the strongest neutral player that we have here. And Shadow, Shadow likes to play that heavy neutral game. Cuddle does as well, but I don't know. I feel like, I don't know. I, would, I just feel like it wouldn't have, it wouldn't have been good uh, versus her. So, all right, now. Two to four players will be playing hot at their fullest potential. Um, so in these tournaments, uh, in tournaments in general, uh, there are random players to get hot 
as I call it, which means they're playing at their fullest potential. I know how that feels, and those players will end up probably beating people that they would not normally sometimes. So those players I was guessing would be possibly Anakin, Super Kuma, Victim, Gosein, Joey, Justin, Sefi, and Kawis. So, but the issue with that is that EU needed three of those three of those four players to be hot. Um, and I feel like if EU had three of those four, that was hot. So like if Gosein, Gosein was hot in the 10v10, if Sefi was hot and Super Kuma was hot, then I'm pretty sure we would have lost, right? Or any three, or whatever, really. So any three. So uh, you don't know. I don't know much about Tetsu, Kira, Fujito, or Joker, but I won't be surprised if any of them win due to that ignorance on them. Joker probably will be the outlier. I said that based on watching their gameplay. Um, I felt like Joker had an interesting style, being a Mishima player turned Fang player. So, all right. Uh, now, for the 10v10, here's my predictions. I predicted Gosain would beat Landon. Uh, Gosain was way too solid. Landon's really solid, but I, I didn't believe in that. Uh, victim beats Tetsu. Um, looks like I'm right so far. That's two. Uh, yeah, victim beats Tetsu. Uh, Shadow beats Kira. Kira, wrong. I was incorrect. I thought that the Eliza XP would help Shadow, but it did not. Uh, Kira Kira won 2 0. So, I didn't get that right. So, let's see, what else? Then Cuddle beats Fajito. Cuddle did. By the way, that was one of the hyper sets and the pop off. Thank you, Cuddle, for popping off on his ass. This motherfucker teabag. I guess he's known for it. I watched the, uh, the three hour podcast, uh, and they said that Fujito is going to start. I don't know, teabagging or something. I have no clue why. Uh, teabagging is seen as childish to me. I, I feel like only children do it, you know? But uh, I feel like only children do it. I don't know what it's for. It doesn't affect me in any type of way. Like, I might do it back, like, just randomly. Like, but I don't, I really don't care about it. It's not, I think, I thought it was a 2D, I thought it was a 2D thing. Chicken, uh, teabagging came from what, like Halo and, and like shooting games? So I have no clue why we do it in fighting games. Maybe it's just because, I don't know, it's to insult your opponent, I guess. So, yeah, when he started, the thing about doing teabagging over here in America, for most of our, our higher competitive players, uh, it helps them focus and tighten up. So, most of the time, unless your skill difference is, is vast, you know, if you teabag on a player that's competent over here in Tekken, uh, they just focus up and you can see it you can see it in her gameplay like her she at the beginning it seemed like she was a little uncertain and then like in her gameplay maybe like in my opinion cuddle was a little she was a little shaky um, on the decisions but maybe she was just trying to figure out what to do right but that's how it looked to me and a little after the teabag and she tightened up and got super solid and what I mean is she got super confident after the teabag so like like and after that she whooped his ass basically it wasn't really close after he started using teabag i'm like at all dude she was doing the fucking down three in his face i'm like bro you like this move is i think she was doing that shit out of spite too because that move was reactable and it's long punishable so like i that, that's not a move i see her doing that often like that normally she sticks to is it down back three I want to say I don't remember that low notation but yeah but good shit to cuddle I like the pop off dope ass pop off bro like dope pop off I wish I was there I was like cuddle that's what I'm talking about pop off on this bitch nigga that's what I'm talking <laughs> I would have <laughs> no maybe I wouldn't have said that part but <laughs> but uh but yeah that was uh that was dope yeah man he did get watched Iron Spider did get watched and I'm happy for that now uh, Anakin beats k -Wiz. I'm sorry, k -Wiz. I love you, homie. That's the wolf, bro. I love you, man, but it, it, it's too tall a task to take down Anakin as a wolf player. He he might have been able to do it with Lydia or maybe another character, but with Woe, it, I don't know who can be Anakin with Woe right now. Like, I, I'll be honest. Rest, maybe? <laughs> Rest, Yonarang, maybe? 
I don't know, maybe Speed, but Speed's retired, so like he just plays it casually, so I don't even know if he can be Anakin. In a tournament, uh, in a first or two, anything can happen, right? But I feel like it would be really difficult. Uh, let's see, Junior Beach, uh, Chikamaru, I was right about that. Um, I just felt that Junior had the tools to get the job done, and I was right. You know, Joey loses the Super Akuma. Uh, I was right about this. Um, Akuma is too good, man. And I'm sorry. I know Joey beat him before, but I, I just didn't believe he was going to win the tiebreaker. I believe they were one and one before this, and Joey lost the tiebreaker, which I'm right to. Uh, Joe Crush beat Seffy Black. I did not see that coming at all. Seffy Black is, I think, the best EU player. He got fourth in the actual tournament. So, I was really surprised that Joe Crush be Seth with like good shit, Joe Crush. I'm sleep, apparently. I'm sleep. My bad. My bad. Good shit, Joe. And then I said Kaiser would beat Fergus. I feel like Fergus was the weakest draw. Kaiser was our weakest as well, but I felt like he'd get the job done against Fergus. So, he did. I'm not shocked. Um, and he got a backswing blow, of course. <laughs> All right, Justin Iglesias. Uh, I feel like Justin should have won this. He was the most slept on, and they had the least da the least uh, data on this guy. So it's sad that he didn't win, but it went all the way to the final final round and good shit to Joker. So I was right on. I was right on what three of those? Or not three? I was right on seven of those. So I wasn't right on this. All right. Yeah, let's see. Right. 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 And I was right about so many of these, right? X. Uh, so what I got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I got seven of these right. I'm a fucking genius, right? So I didn't know what would happen after the first match or how they would do it, but uh, yeah. So I didn't know what happened, but I thought uh, victim. I thought they would just go back to the top, or whatever. So I thought it would be Victim versus whoever was still alive, which would have been Gosain, right? So I thought Victim Gosain, I thought Victim would pull down a really close match. And I had Victim winning, then I had Shadow versus Super Kuma, I had Super Kuma winning, and Cuddle versus Sefi, I thought Sefi would win that, right? And then that still left us Anakin Jr., Kaiser, and Justin. I was, uh, this, I guess this, all of this is invalid, right? So yeah, this is invalid because none of this actually happened who did cuddle lose to damn i don't recall who cuddle lost to she lost i remember she won one and she lost the second um let's see all right and then anakin got the fight super kuma anakin will win that i was hella right about that that was a 6-0 um so anakin versus super kuma i knew that anakin was our best chance to be able to beat him well, I didn't know it was gonna be like that. That was a body bag. Anakin put his ad, put him in a condom and like and fucking carried him around, bro. Like <laughs> that was a really weird reference. Let's uh, can I edit that out? Is that a thing? Probably not. Oh well, I don't know. Fuck. <laughs> I'm me. So, but no, Anakin. He was just really dominant, and it, it really showed his experience against the character. Uh. It really showed his experience in the character uh, versus the character, I'd say. And he's playing Jack, bro. Jack is Jack is garbage, bro. He's bottom, what, 20? Bottom 15, maybe? Like, I don't know where you would put Jack, but he's not great. Um, he's not great at all. <laughs> so, like, that just goes to show that your tears don't matter in Tekken. They they really ever do. Cuddle lost to Gosain, okay. Yeah, so, yeah. I did say that Cuddle would lose to Gosain, so yeah, I, would, I ended up being right about that, but I didn't know who would fight. I made this list Thursday, 
um but right before the right before the 10v10 right but yeah getting back to this anakin versus super kuma i was like if super kuma was on fire like maybe like he was staying a chance but this shit, it was this was ugly this set was ugly i will watch it again but i'm afraid that you guys are going to get traumatized by how much of a murder it was that's crazy i don't know if he's ever played super kuma before but that was that was nasty it was really nasty then junior i thought junior was gonna fight sefi black i don't believe that happened because sefi black got eliminated uh that's invalid but i had sefi black winning so i had sefi black as the last one standing right so here's here's my last uh last words Justin, like, what we got going? Sefi Black was the last standing, beats Kaiser and loses to Justin or Victim. And if not them, Anakin for sure ends it with us having three alive. Anakin, Justin, Victim. So, we had two alive. It was just Anakin and Victim. Justin was not a part of this. I really thought he would, though. That's what I thought, you know? So, that was, a uh, that was good. That was good. That was good. So, yeah, overall it was dope. It was pretty much some of the best Tekken I've, I've watched in a while. Some of the best Tekken I've watched in a while it was a good set. Uh, he was talking all that trash. I think they was talking all that trash because of Golden Letters. Uh, the homie A.O. Richie, good shit to A.O. Richie. I know him. I know him personally. Uh, you know, he's a uh, you know, he's part of the friend list. Uh, he's part of the friend list. I've spoken to him multiple times. He's solid, cool ass dude. But I believe his him beating Anakin and Joey gave EU a an unnecessary confidence boost. And they were talking shit. And you know, when you talk shit, you got to back it up. They didn't back it up. And we don't talk shit to other countries. We don't. We know that Pakistan and Korea are the stronger regions for Tekken, right? We don't talk shit about them, really. Like, uh, and we know we've known the EU has been weaker than weaker than us. We don't talk shit about them, right? And when I say EU is weaker than us, I mean that they had a point in that our top five players are better than anyone that they have over there. And I, I do, I do believe that too. Um, I do believe that too. I believe that Anakin is better than anyone over there. Um, I believe that I believe that Shadow Shadow got a bad draw, but I believe he's better better than most of the most of the players over there, like um, Cuddle and Joey. I do believe that, but Anakin clearly, clearly is. He clearly is. Um, and it took Gosain was on fire. He was all, he's on absolute fire, and it didn't matter. Also, Law versus Jack is a terrible matchup for Jack. Didn't matter. Didn't matter. I was just imagining Jack can't do DF2 the entire match. Like, he just can't do it. Or he he or he loses 40% health. Like, he can't do that. Uh, DF2 goes under two jab, which is Jack's, one of Jack's primary, well, one of Anakin's primary ways of pressuring whatever like he's got multiple high crushes or low crushes so like going for down back going for down back one is, is i feel like it's dangerous whatever he's got hop kick he's got flip kick he's got another flip kick you know like but i feel like that would that would just be dangerous right not about to put the third degree murder on twitch yeah i wouldn't try to, i wouldn't try to do that I wouldn't try to do that. Yo, what's going on, Sticks? Going on, Sticks? So, yeah. I believe uh, Ayo Richie winning that Golden Letters gave uh, EU an unnecessary confidence boost. And they paid the price, you know? They paid the price. They came over. And they did well, right? They did well. But, no. Not at all. And now, I'm pretty sure in King J, K Wiz. Maybe Sefi Black. I don't know. Sefi Black is cool. Everyone over here loves Sefi Black, it seems. And, yeah. Everyone over here loves Sefi Black. So, what is Warap fool? What the hell is Warap? And what am I cussing? 
<laughs> so, so yeah, that was a that was pretty dope. I enjoyed that a lot. One of these days, I hope to be I hope to be in one of these ten v tens. You know, I'm gonna keep pushing, right? I'm gonna keep pushing, and we're gonna see what can happen. Right? Other than that, yeah, that was my prediction and uh, me going over a combo breaker go. It's pretty dope. I loved it, and I'm really sad I wasn't there. Big facts. <laughs>